tutorial we're going to start looking at the issue of the colour cast inside this clip and how we can actually get rid of it by using a particular effect. Not only that we're going to see how we can improve the shot and actually make it a far more usable shot just by playing with a tool called the fast colour corrector. Now you can find that under effects and it's under the colour correction section but notice I've typed in the word fast and found it. So if you type in a word such as fast you can find the effects that have got fast in them but that is all you will find so you can open and shut any category you like but until you get rid of the word that's inside your search dialog you'll never find anything else so just be careful to make sure you clear it out again once you've used it so here's the fast color corrector my footage is selected so all I need to do is double click then I can go to the effects controls tab and I'm ready to play with the actual effect now notice again I've got this out because I'm setting things I'm not animating them but if I needed to animate them I could open up this section to see my keyframes but obviously I'm not animating so I've got this maximized now if we actually look at the fast color corrector and go from the top down you'll see that we've got composite which just means all the channels the red green and blue channels all mixed together and we've also got one that says luma and if you click on luma it kind of shows you the luma range of the channels Okay, so you can see what's bright and what's dark just as shadows and highlights so anyway I'm going to go back to composite and um, I've got an option to be able to have a split view so I can see either the top or the bottom is uncorrected or the other side is corrected or alternatively you can go from horizontal to vertical I'm not going to use a split view you'll be able to see the changes but if you want to actually see subtle changes you click split view choose horizontal and vertical and decide where that bar should be okay so then we come to white balance and white balance is going to look at the problems that the camera has had basically when you get your camera into your scene you should tell the camera what white looks like by putting something like a white card or something directly in front of it in situ where it's going to be taking the footage you say this is pure white and then the camera is able to calculate all the colors accordingly based on the pure white settings but if you don't do that you end up with what we've got here which is a color cast but we can correct that in Premiere Pro simply by telling Premiere Pro or telling this effect what should have been pure white and now this color should have been pure white it clearly isn't pure white but if we sample that color and drop it into this sampler here what's going to happen is the fast color corrector is going to analyze what color is in here and then say okay how much do I need to go in precisely the opposite direction to that color to neutralize it because color theory is going to say this if say my color cast was pure red that I'd need to pull it in exactly the opposite direction which is cyan to eliminate it to counteract it so if it was a color cast that was red you pull this little dot in the middle towards cyan to actually physically get rid of that color cast so that's how you can do it but of course if you pull it too far you just end up colorizing the shot which isn't what we want to do at all so by choosing to select the white balance we can tell it what should have been white and let it automatically decide how much should be changed so I'm just going to undo that the other thing to say is that your eyes are not as good at seeing color chrominance as they are at seeing luminance so using tools such as this to be able to get this right is really helpful so I click white balance I go over to his collar this should have been white click on it and I can see already that's slightly off white and notice it's pulled it in exactly this direction which tells me my color cast must have been towards the yellow oranges over this way so it's actually neutralized it if I just do before and after so before and after before and after if you look at the RGB parade you'll see that they have slightly more balanced which is okay because we do have this great big red item if I pull it to the beginning of the shot where the red item isn't in there you can see that those are beginning to look a lot more balanced which is really helpful now we've got lots of tools inside this color wheel we've got the bit that we can pull out which is just pulling it around if we pull it too far what you're going to find is you start to colorize things you can see the RGB going nuts as I'm pulling it around so that's colorizing things I just do control Z to get it back how it was and this bar here is how strong the effect is it's a gain control and as I click on it you can click and pull it out and sometimes you're going to find it very difficult to to grab hold of and pull so that's where these sliders underneath come in 
So I've got gain here, which is what this bar here represents, and if I undo the twirly, I can actually start to pull the gain out, and you'll see that that bar will start to move out. And as I do that, you might notice that the RGB parade can balance out a little bit better by playing with the gain to try and get them at a bit of a better position to start off with. And actually that's already looking quite a lot better just by moving the gain out somewhat. But I couldn't actually get hold, as you noticed, of the bar there. And then the other one here is the hue angle. Again, I'm going to pull the hue angle around. You can actually change what colour is applied to the clip. We're going to be using the hue angle a bit later on when it comes to dealing with his skin. So I'm going to control Z to undo that. But again, you've got a numeric pull down here to be able to play with it. So we've got rid of the colour cast just by clicking the white balance. And we can pull it across and have a look. The clip is far from ideal. I think there's contrast issues that we probably want to deal with. So in the next tutorial, I'm going to look at contrast issues. And then when we move on from there, we're going to look at issues like making sure the skin tone is correct.